Hello, I'm Tony Brown, and welcome to another 5 Minutes of Sunset. Today we're going to talk about your happy dance. But before we get started, I'd like to say thank you to all you 30,000 people who have become a part of the Happy God community over the last, gosh, since 2007. All your likes, your comments, your shares, all the things that you've done to increase awareness and donate you know, financially uh, to all the good organizations that we've been able to support uh, is remarkable and uh, total gratitude from, from, from my heart. Now, with that being said, uh, it's time to get to work. Uh, to give you some background and understanding for what your happy dance is, uh, you need to understand the three things that have converged in our lives over the last couple of weeks uh, you know, that, that, that brought about this video. Number one, uh, all the news around the space race and, and the excitement about what's going on in space. Two, uh, the upcoming Barnstock July 31st Music Festival. And three, the real driver is Netflix documentary The Last Dance, highlighting uh, Michael Jordan's career with the Chicago Bulls. Uh, how those three uh, things fit together is sort of random, but we all know that with uh, three points you get a line, and sometimes, sometimes you get a triangle, you. sometimes you get a circle, but let's see what happens. Um, the three things that I saw or thought about as I watched Michael Jordan talk about his career, his relationship with the leadership, his, his relationship with his teammates and fans, uh, it became very clear to me that there were similarities between what's going on uh, in the space race, at PCG, at Barnstock. Organizations and individuals that excel really do focus on three major things. Uh, the first one, of course, being quality. Uh, I don't care who you are. If you're not doing a great quality job, uh, your mission, your values, uh, everything you stand for isn't going to stand the test of time. And so when you think about Tesla as it's uh, juxtaposed against the Chrysler Ford's uh, current status, if you think about Amazon, uh, you think about Virgin Atlantic, uh, certainly if you think about PCG, what you have is organizations who are committed to bringing quality to their clients uh, not only meeting their expectations, but exceeding them. The second thing, and, I, and you just can't get around this, is that all these organizations need fantastic leadership. The Chicago Bulls had fantastic coach. They had Michael Jordan. They had people who saw the vision, saw the dream, believed in it, uh, and, 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 and ate, slept, worked it every day. And I think that that's one of the things that, uh, you know, is really, quite frankly, uh, has a lot to do with luck. Uh, you can work hard every day. You can you can you know have the best business plan. But if you don't have the right leadership, uh, sort of like how we got with Bill Mazikowski at PCG, uh, you can't really achieve that exceptional level. And then of course the third thing is, and I made reference to it just then, is hard work. You know, Michael Jordan said, you know, it's not that I work hard. It's not that it's I worked as hard as I could. It's that he worked harder than everybody else. And uh, if I go back through the last 30 years at PCG and I think about the people who have been exceptional, the one thing that they really brought was the ability to outwork their competitors, drive their teammates to be really, really a step above what was expected. And so with that, quality, leadership, and hard work get it done. That sets the stage for, so what's your happy dance? I hate to be the person that's going to tell you this, but it's very unlikely that you are going to be as good as Michael Jordan, Elon Musk, or, or Bill Mazikowski. It's probably not going to happen. And so what do we, us mere mortals, do knowing that truth? And the answer is we become role players. We look at our gifts, our talents, our skills, and we do the very best we can to contribute to the mission, to achieve the things that we value as an organization. And I think that the leaders understand that each person brings something unique to the team, unique to the project uh, organization, and allow allow you to use your strengths to move the, the mission forward. And so, in, in conclusion, what I ask you to do is to go watch that Netflix documentary and decide who are you on the Chicago, Chicago Bulls story. You know, are you Scotty Pippen? Are you are you Dennis Rodman? Are you that uh, general manager that everybody hated? What is your role and how are you contributing to your organization to make it as good as it can possibly be? That's five minutes of sunset. Appreciate you joining us. I'm Tony Brown. Thank you.